Hey out there in, uh, in Jambase audience land. Uh, my name's David Onigman. Say hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. This is Jake Alexander. Um, we just wanted to record a quick video here to let you know um, some of the stuff we already have in the works and some more stuff coming down the pike in the world of video. So we hope everyone out there is staying sane and safe and, and staying uh, inside your home as much as you can. We hope you've seen what we've been doing at jambase.com slash live streams. If you haven't yet, please check it out. Uh, we launched it just four days ago and it keeps getting better and better. It's a place where we're collecting all the information on live streams that are happening in people's bedrooms and, and vacant studios and things like that. Just yesterday, we launched the feature where you can now watch the streams right on that page and allows you to toggle back and forth between streams like you're changing the channel uh, on your cable box, if anyone still uses those. And we also make sure that we always are doing everything we can to paste the Venmo, PayPal, Patreon, whatever links for the artists right there uh, alongside the stream. So please continue to check out jambase.com slash live streams and go stream live music. We're gonna keep uh, curating that as long as all this is going down. So that's what we have been doing. What we and Jake wanna to talk to you about right now, uh, we're gonna launch a little video series here called Gimme Shelter in Place. And Jake and I have been sitting on archives of unused video footage for like five years now. Um, Jake's first time doing some videos with us uh, was when we did Songs of Their Own back in 2015. And we did those 50 Grateful Dead covers. A lot of those sessions have alternate takes or those artists playing originals of theirs. Um, we did another series a couple of years after that called 20 Years Later, same thing. We have a lot of footage we never mixed down. We've got a lot of great footage from the High Sierra Music Festival that we've never edited and published. And we think now people need uh, fresh video content, whether it be live or, or never before seen more than ever. So we're gonna do our part. We're trying to do one of these a day, every day for as long as we can. Um, let me kick it over to Jake here real quick and say, Jake, what's it been like opening up this footage, some of this footage for the first time in like five years since we've touched it? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, like you said, my first uh, video series that I produced was the Songs of Their Own series. And uh, I obviously uh, did, I started that pretty uh, amateurly and I learned a lot about video pretty quickly. Uh, but that, that was a particularly funny series. I was, I was laughing about the other day. I um, opened up my first uh, recording, which was the Anders Osborne, Luther Dickinson recording. And I, at the time, I didn't really know any Grateful Dead songs. So I just titled the track uh, Dead Song uh, instead of Black Muddy River, which it was. Uh, but yeah, it's cool seeing all these stuff. And it's cool uh, kind of going back and reliving it. Um, what we did a lot for a lot of these sessions was have a band record one song and then record whatever song they wanted. So what we're going to kind of try to release is those second songs that haven't been shown yet, which is uh, pretty cool and exciting. Well, speaking of our progression in that, that they're probably going to be a bit more front loaded towards the beginning of the series, because at the beginning we were like so polite and and new and thankful for everything that we were like, oh yeah, do you guys want to do another one? Do you want to play right. an original? And then by like yeah. video 40, we we're like, all right, get the, get out of here guys. We yeah. need to go edit this and publish it we tomorrow. Have, so we have see later. more sessions. So there's gonna be more yeah. towards the beginning than there are at the yeah. end. But there'll be some good ones at the end too. Um, um, yeah. But along those lines, we also have uh, some cool back, back uh, behind the scene footage from High Sierra over the last few years. Uh, we have a really cool video, a uh, few videos from our JB20 um, shows. We did two shows, one at the chapel in San Francisco and one at Sweetwater in uh, Marin County that we'll be releasing. So a lot of cool stuff is coming down the line. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to talk real quick about the first video we're going to launch later today. Um, and then we'll see how quickly we're back here on your screens. I don't know if we're gonna do this all the time or just some of the time, but um, again, jambase.com slash live streams. Do our best all hours of the night. We're like there monitoring and making sure the best links are there for you. The right charity links are there for the artists. And we just really trying to do our part. Jambase has primarily been a place for people to discover what concerts to go see and there aren't any right now. Um, so we're doing everything we can to, uh, to, to service the world, the world of live streams. So, so please check that out, jambase.com slash live streams. That product's just going to keep getting better 
uh, as, as the days go on. And yeah, today we're launching Give Me Shelter in Place, a uh, new video every day, never before seen from the Jambase archives. Uh, we've got a bunch ready, but the one we're uh, excited to have be uh, video number one here is from one of the events Jake was talking about at the chapel um, June 1st of last year. Uh, Jambase was celebrating our 20th anniversary, sort of been like a year-long celebration. We've been celebrating it all year with different content on the site and things like that. But we had a show at the chapel um, where we had Ron Artis the second and the truth, uh, Big Light, and surprise me Mr. Davis uh, on the bill at the chapel. And uh, a number of really cool things happened that night. It was a really great night of, of music to, to produce. Uh, and one was um, the moment when Brad Barr from Surprise Me Mr. Davis and the Bar Brothers and the Slip uh, sat in with, with Ron's band, uh, which was kicking off the, the opening. And so uh, sort of, I sort of nudged Ron to do it because they, they were just meeting for the first time. I was like, oh, Ron, you should see if Brad wants to sit in your set. He's a really great guitar player. He's like, oh yeah, you think that'd be cool? Um, so th they started talking about it and and Ron, who's a real friend of jam bass uh, and just such a talented uh, musician, He'll do this a lot when we see him, like they'll just make up songs that they were just talking about what to do. And this is not like one of Ron's songs or one of Brad's songs. Like I saw Ron ask Brad, it's like, so like what kind of thing should we do? Like, should it be like more like a blues thing or this? And I think Brad said something funny, like just make it cyclical. <laughs> um, and Ron just made up this awesome little tune and it was just called This Old World. Um, I called Ron like an hour ago to confirm that they never played this song again anywhere. They didn't. Um, this only lived at the show that night. Uh, and yeah, they just made it up. It's like, you know, kind of like a standard blues little turnaround. And, and it's awesome. You know, Brad rips the guitar, Ron rips the guitar, Ron sings some tunes. Um, and they worked it up in sound check and they did it at the show. You'll see the video they did at the show. Another really funny thing happened um, before the show was where the sound check was wrapping up. Um, I was up in the green room uh, talking with Brad Barr and he was like, yeah, man, that's cool. Ron's great. Like, where's he from? And I was like, Hawaii. And he's like, and he like got this look on his face that I don't normally see Brad Barr make. He's like, why? He's like, is his whole family musical? And I was like, oh yeah, there's like 12 of them and his dad was a musician. And he's like, I've been to his house. And he like ran back down the stairs at the chapel to go find Ron. And it's like, I've been to your house before. And I don't remember the exact details, but Brad on a trip to Hawaii, I think like uh, when Ron's father was still alive, I think their, their house was kind of like a destination um, for musicians. Nice. It was like experience you could go to. I, I forget the exact details. I'll have to ask Brad about it. Um, but yeah, funny. this particular video is, is really special to me. Um, I think it's a, Jake did a great job editing it. I just, I just watched the final cut um, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try to do one of these for you every day. Uh, and, and, and hopefully we can make them, all, make them all pretty cool until we just run out of footage. Uh, and in the meantime, all these musicians will keep live streaming. And we'll be doing our best to, to stay on top of that as well. So Jake, any, uh, any final words? Say, say something funny. Uh, I don't have anything funny to say, but I think you said it's at the top. Um, obviously, these, these are all presented free. And the thing that helps us most is if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, right. Subscribe to Jambase. Subscribe to Jambase. And, uh, and we'll also be trying to put links in for, for anyone's individual uh, fundraising efforts that they're doing as well. So, uh, sure, you yeah. know, on this Ron video, we're going link to his, link to his Patreon, which is awesome. Um, and, you know, when we do a Reed Mathis video, we'll, we'll, we'll share his stuff and, and, and different things. But yes, subscribe to Jambase. I think we're a little south of, of 10,000 subscribers yeah. right now. Let's, let's yep. see if we can get that, get that north of that. All Sounds right. That's good. Enjoy. Stay, tuned. Stay safe, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, continuing to uh, consume all things Jambase, whether it be our website, our, our, our mobile apps, this YouTube channel. Uh, Facebook, where we're probably going to post this as well. Uh, just uh, thank you. Um, and, uh, and everybody stay safe. Cheers.